What happens when you hook a aviation radio, that is AM and VHF, to a 2 meter ham radio antenna? Well it turns out that it improves the reception quite a bit. This radio comes standard with a rubber antenna, but it doesn't pick up very good reception from my house. So I just jury rigged a antenna connection here to my ham radio comma GP1 and it works pretty well now with the comma GP1. So, one of the reasons you may want to get an aviation radio is if you're learning to fly and you want to get the, the ADES or you want to listen to the local airport and just get used to the traffic pattern and how things are and look at some of the online tools where it shows maps the aircraft. Another reason if if for emergency radio, this frequency um, is the emergency radio frequency for aircraft. And it is probably going to be heard by quite a few people because many aircraft tune into this frequency. Uh, and it's a distress frequency. And say you were hiking in the mountains and deep in the mountains and there's airplane fly, airplanes flying overhead you could probably get pretty good uh, serv service with on this frequency because you have airplanes within line of sight from you that are monitoring this frequency and so if you had a channel 16 radio for emergency uh, marine and you had this radio it would be a pretty good emergency uh, radio to have.